How's it going everyone? Bobby Digital here bringing you another gameplay video. This time I'm bringing you some more Division. This time it's the open beta. So I'm just gonna run through a quick video here. I'm not even really gonna do a lot of editing. I just want to show you guys uh, some some footage and my Im my impressions and a little bit of information on the game. First of all, check out these awesome graphics. This is a, I just caught this and I had to show you guys. It was a, like a little snowstorm that came in and I th I thought the weather effects are really cool and the way the light when it flashes different colors on the screen there on the on the TV panel it shows it in the in-game world and reflects off the snow I thought that was really cool like even the uh, the effects from the police uh, the police lights on that car a um, lot of detail in this world it's a one-to-one -one scale of Manhattan uh, central Manhattan um, and it's supposed to uh, expand on it in future DLC um, the game is primarily a RPG shooter uh, almost like an it's it's an MMO uh, if you so to speak it's it's like a destiny style MMO it's kind of a console MMO so it's not a hardcore MMO like you'd see in World of Warcraft where you just uh, it's 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 um it's more of a scaled down version uh, it's a shooter MMO it's, it's set in a Clancy universe so it's very realistic this actually right here was a really cool uh, footage of me, Brian, uh, Real BP, and R Doyle seventy eight. We were we went rogue in the dark zone, which is kind of like uh, you know, backstabbing some agents and taking their loot. And uh, they put a bounty on our head, and we had gotten the max bounty. And we kind of held up on this rooftop, and everybody was trying to kill us for this bounty because it was so high, and they could not get up this ladder. And it was just really really funny. We were holding up like in the Alamo. Um, <clears throat> uh, it, that's the PvP side of the world. So, uh, you can do PvE missions just like in Destiny when you would go in and, and you know, hit, fight the computer in missions and stuff. I thought this was really cool. Right here, I got beat with a sledgehammer and blew apart this guy's shield. Re really cool effect. But, um, you, you take part in these missions, all co cooperative. Uh, there are, there are all these missions you can do cooperative with, with, uh, your buddies in a, in a squad of four. You do these missions, you get XP, you rank your character up. Um, each person can have like a, a specific role in their squad, like a support gunner where he can lay down suppressive fire like with this LMG. Uh, you can actually le legitimately lay down suppressive fire and enemies will show a little icon above their head that they're suppressed and they'll get behind cover and duck and you can flank them. Your, your other teammates can flank them. Uh, you can have a medic class which is like the typical healer in an MMO. You can have your tank class, which is the guy that runs around with a shield, generates the aggro. Um, you can have a DPS class, uh, who is like the sniper guy and does the highest amount of damage to single targets, uh, particularly bosses. And um, you, you all work in unison uh, and you know take out enemies. It's, it's a very tactical game. Uh, just even though it's an RPG, which you see a lot of enemies take, uh, they, they have a lot of health and it takes a lot of bullets to kill them. Because it's a typical RPG, there are still tactics though. Uh, you know, it's 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 an RPG, and so like um, like a, a Borderlands is. Uh, if you if you look at the weapons in a Borderlands, um, a lot of them are are uh, they have dab damage numbers, and, and a lot of the enemies take a lot of hits uh, because it's all like based on. You rank up to do more damage. You, you level your character up. You level him up with his weapons, his skills, you know, his gear, and, and you do more damage that way. Um, you don't really run around and kill guys at one hit. It's not. It's not that kind of shooter. It's 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 like an Elder Scrolls Online. You know, I don't know if you guys ever played Elder Scrolls Online. We have a tank, DPS, and healer. It's the same thing. Uh, you'll see me doing a little bit of DPS with my character and doing a little support because we didn't have a, a fourth character to do support, so I kind of did both. Um, I'm also healing my friends over there with the heal builds, but you can build your character to be a straight up healer, to be a straight up tank, to be a straight up DPS, straight up support. Um, you can do all these things, uh, and it's and you couldn't do that in the Destiny. I don't know if it, if you guys played Destiny, but you would have a Titan, but he would pretty much be the same as all the other characters aside from his jump. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't um, you'd have like different grenades maybe and stuff like that, but everybody pretty much played the same way um, and you can interchange your character at any point if you don't like a perk there's no penalty you just take your perk off put on another one you see a couple of guys get burned right there uh, uh, you actually will see me pull out the LMG right here I believe it is and, and this guy will just start getting suppressed he has a little icon above his head 
and if my friends wanted to, they could take advantage and flank him. Uh, so there's a lot of tactics in this game. Um, you, you know, you gotta worry about um, you know taking too much damage. If you ta if your tank is taking too much damage, you have to have your healer there supporting him with med packs, or not med packs, but uh, healing healing stims and healing grenades and things like that. Um, it's a very good game. It's a loot-based game. You can see me switching, switching between weapons here. I got some purple, blue, and green weapons, just like Destiny. You got your commons, legendaries, exotics, things like that. It's even your gear. There's a lot. There's mods to your weapons. You can get scopes, things like that. Um, right here, you see, you see me suppressing them, and and uh, NV Nixon just flanked them there to the right. Uh, you'll see right here in this next clip. Um, I think I use a shield. Because uh, I'm playing as the tank role, and I aggro um, this enemy right here, and you'll see somebody come up right behind him because the enemy's paying attention to me because I have the shield, and here comes Pyro right behind and, and blasts him. Uh, you can do things like that in this game. It's 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 got tactics in that sort of sense. Um, but it's really fun. I like it. In this next clip here, you're gonna see um, see uh, me and a few of the guys in the dark zone uh, again, and we take out some agents and because we're going rogue again and you can actually steal their loot um, because when you get loot in the dark zone uh, it's the most valuable loot plus you don't get to keep it unless you extract it because it's contaminated so you have to extract it and if you get killed you drop your loot and the other person who killed you can take it or anybody in the world can take it so this poor bastard right here I, I just meleeed him killed him I think he dropped some things or maybe he didn't maybe his buddies did and uh, we steal their stuff. You see me right here with this LMG. I'm doing a lot of suppression. That guy right there, see the icon kind of above his head? He's suppressed. Um, uh, you can just, you can, you can do a lot of tactics like that, and it, I, I think it's really cool. Um, you'll see a lot of fire effects. You can blow up little canisters and things like that. Uh, burn, burn them on fire. I think that guy just starts getting chewed up by the flames. That guy's on fire. Yeah. Um, and I got MV Nixon. I think it was Pyro here. Uh, no, Steve. He's sniping from the back. So this is the part where it's more like an RPG, more like um, an upgraded version of Destiny. Here's your weapons. You have, if you guys like upgrades and weapons and, and uh, you know, modding them and stuff to your to your own personalization, you can get uh, weapon skins or spray paints, whatever you want to call them, scopes, foregrips, magazines, uh, trigger modifications, uh, suppressors things all different things like that and, and you have look at all the different types of gear you can have here that you can modify backpacks shoulder pads arm pads things like that you watch a scroll over here to my um, abilities you, you have all these different abilities and each ability look on the right side you can have all these different modifications for each ability and you can build your characters however you want to this is uh, this is not available in the beta but you can see you have talents um, that you unlock you can have perks and those are sort of more the RPG system where you have passive skills uh, Activated skills things like that. Um, I also want to show you here a good example of We were getting our butts kicked in this mission because this is a uh, I put it on hard It's the first mission, but you put it on hard and you get a lot of more elite enemies And that's those yellow guys with the armor bars. They're very very hard to take down. They're like mini bosses We were getting our butts kicked We went uh, Pam went down or Gimme Samoa went down. It was just me and Pyro trying to get through these guys and you see how hard it was but because we we actually use tactics here uh, pyro is going to actually drop his shield and act as the tank and kind of aggro a lot of the fire um and what i'm going to do is get right behind him it's it's kind of like what they do in real life with the guys who lead with the shields get right behind him and shoot over his shoulder he, uh, Pyro takes all the fire, he takes all the damage with his shield, and I'm able to, t to start picking away enemies. Doesn't happen right here, but it, you'll see in a few minutes. Uh, sorry, I had to cough right there. Got a cold or something coming on. But anyway, you see how, how much of a hard time they're giving us in this little hallway. I die a couple times. I, I almost die uh, here. I have to heal myself. Pyro, look at his health par. I mean, look, the, these hard, difficult missions are straight up difficult, and that's what I love. It's like kind of like Destiny when you go on a strike. Yeah, you have to really use tactics. Here, here I go. You can see how hard it is to get through this hallway. Um, but it's like Destiny in a sense where you have strikes and stuff, and the higher you do them, the higher rewards you get, the better drops, uh, better weapons, better gear, better loot drops. Um, and it's really good that way. Uh, you can see that really cool custom M M4 assault rifle I have on my back. Fortunately, I have no ammo for it right now, but I think Pyro's going to drop his shield right here. 
and start aggroing the enemies. Or he will soon. Hopefully. There he goes. Now watch me just get right behind his shoulder. He's taking all the damage. He's gonna get, I'm going to get right behind his shoulder and just start picking the enemies off. And there you go. That's a perfect example of how you can use the tank. And I'm acting as the DPS. And if I had a healer right next to us, which would have been nice, just healing the both of us so we stay alive, is a good example of how you can use that RPG system in a shooter. And there we go, the last guy. Take him right out. Pyro's going to aggro him again. I'm going to shoot right behind him. There you have it. I really enjoyed this game. I, uh, you guys definitely should try it if you're into MMOs like Destiny, Elder Scrolls Online, or even World of Warcraft, things like that. In a Tom Clancy shooter, it's awesome. It's got the loot and everything. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bobby Digital, signing out.